What? <laughs> you told me I could do it. This is all the underwear that I have right now. We're just going to put it on. Just stay. I'm feeling sad because I don't have any underwear left. It's time that I invest in some new pairs. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> We're going to go to four different stores and we're going to buy so much underwear that I won't even like know what to do with. Before I get into this video and <laughs> tell you how much money I'm gonna spend, you guys should like this video, make sure you comment, and you should subscribe to this channel. I'm just like kind of in the mood to just go out there and like spend money, pretend I'm like rich for like three seconds. We're gonna start at the bottom of the food chain. We're gonna start at the Walmart. Okay, I can honestly tell you guys that I've never shopped in here, so I'm trying to find the section that I need. I see a bunch of bras. I literally see a bunch of bras. Where's the underwear? It seems as if they don't have little drawers that you pull out. So it looks like I'm gonna have to get packs. Just like the olden days. There we go, seamless. Oh wait, look what I just stumbled across. I walked straight past it. I should totally get a hot pink one. Let's do it. And no, I will not be trying on anything in this vlog. You will only get to see me with um, real pants and real clothing on. I got my wonderful fanny pack. It's the best way to shop. There we go. This is what I've been looking for. As you can see here, there are multiple different types of underwear. Personally, I don't like these three. So I'm gonna go for the top two, the thong and the cheeky. Or maybe it's just because I like feeling sexy, but Either one works, right? I have a black one already, and I also have a nude one, and I also have a red one. So I might as well go for the lavender. I'm gonna make my pile right here on the ground. This is total girl talk right here, but when you pick it up, okay, the ones that I like are the ones that don't have much lace up the butt. Because like, I don't know why, but lace is so uncomfortable, and it rides up your butt really bad. But the fabric, this like stretchy, bouncy fabric at the front is like my favorite to wear. Up oh, my booty cheek, it just moves around and it can get really itchy. And especially if it gets hot. I would get this one, but like I'm not getting married. So I don't think I'll have any use for it. Unless. I don't like underwear with a band on the top. It makes me feel like so tight in my body. And I'm just not a fan of underwear that has a elastic band on it. Oh, that's cute. Ooh, here we go. <laughs> Floral underwear, that's the stuff. Up on the price tag, it'll say um, moves with you, and that's the stuff I like to wear when I'm working out. You don't have to pick a wedgie when you're like running on the treadmill, because that's the worst. This one looks like a tie. Like this is like tie material or like some kind of pocket square. If you're ever wearing a suit and you're in need of a pocket square, I got you. Like I like this. It's just a bit scratchy. It's just when it goes up your butt, it's just not as comfortable. It's the same fabric. I'm getting one that's a little more cheeky. All this to say, my husband is going to be <laughs> blessed. Later when I get home, I will tally up the prices. There's a Michael Kors right there, and if they had underwear, I would buy it so fast. Pink! So the only elastic bands I will ever get on underwear is when they have a brand on it, like this. See, these ones actually feel good. It's the, it's the thin elastic that just does not feel good. Gosh, this is like Christmas underwear. Thank you. Now that's how I like it does. And we are going to buy the sexiest underwear at Victoria's Secret. Obviously, Victoria's Secret owns pink, but it's just not the same. It's oh my gosh, it has glitter on it. Hey, when I walk in here, I'm like intimidated. Okay, so we're gonna go crazy, but we're not gonna get that crazy. Sometimes when I'm in the store, I get that feeling like when you're just walking along, happy as can be, and then you see this like group of teenagers come along and they're like loud and they're all wearing like rose colored glasses and you're like, oh my gosh, a teenager. And you realize you're a teenager, but it still like intimidates you. The difficulty is finding a place where it's sexy enough for you to like want to wear it and be like it's like I know underneath my clothing is a little secret but at the same time it's like I want it to be comfy and I want to be able to move in it and not even just think about it at all. Okay, I'm gonna take you guys on a little adventure. <laughs> it's called the fitting rooms. <laughs> I think every girl has to experience a Victoria's Secret fitting room at least once in their life. This wasn't originally supposed to happen, but yeah, girl literally needs blinders on when she goes into a store because it's this really cute jacket. And I was like, oh my gosh, I could totally wear that. Uh, so I may have bought a big, like, yeah, big, 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 big jacket at Forever 21. <laughs> I also got a shirt to go along with it. <laughs> I'm a hot mess. My bank account's like, no. One, two, three. <laughs> I'm in love with this style. Here are all the riches. There are 
probably 20 plus pairs of underwear. Love that. Hi, we're back from the, uh, the shopping trip. <laughs> I'm not excited to see the prices of all of this. I feel like I just have a lot of pent-up emotions that I needed to get out in the form of shopping for uh, underwear. <laughs> okay, so we'll start at the lowest part of the food chain and then we'll move to the highest part of the food chain. This is the beautiful packaging it came in. I packaged it myself at the self-checkout. Basically a queen. I don't know. I got one pair of super sparkly, you can see like a little close, like it's really sparkly underwear, thong, then just like the olden days. <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to go to the store and get like packs of like Cinderella underwear. I have not tried them on clearly. So I don't know if they'll even be working for me. Second on the food chain. Uh, Target. Okay, this is like really annoying me like this. this. Oh my gosh, that's worse. No, no, honey, no. Oh, there we go. Target is the next on the food chain. And Target has stepped up their game in a lot of ways. Prior to the years coming up to this, like three years, I really hated Target's fashion. However, they've stepped up. They've improved. I also bagged this one myself. I feel like a mom. I believe I got like five or six pairs of underwear from Target. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. So everything's going everywhere. All of these wonderful players, as you guys saw, of my pile on the floor. And so, so far, that's one, six, and this has six. Oh my gosh, what's that? 13 pairs. Pink. But yeah, pink is a much nicer experience. Like, wow, awesome. I'm not completely alone in this store, and I'm not going to get murdered by somebody in the parking lot. Oh my gosh, it's hot as balls. Yeah, this jacket is really thermo. Thanks for asking. Bam. Oh, see, they wadded them up in a nice wad. For me. I actually completely don't remember putting this one in my bag. However, I'm happy that I did. It's like an eye patch, like super sexy. I got another red one. What? I don't remember putting these. Oh no, I remember that one. I don't remember putting this one in. I got this one. I saw this on a mannequin and I was like, I want it. This one's even more of an eye patch. I got a tie-dye one. Ooh, look at that little like rumbly design on the bottom. I got another tie-dye one. I don't remember putting this one in my basket either. I got my Christmas one. Definitely gonna wear this on Christmas Eve. <laughs> Because nothing special is going to be happening on Christmas Eve. Seven pairs, so 13 plus seven is 20. And then the very top of the food chain, we have our Victoria's Secret. This one, oh god, this is huge. Oh my goodness. Okay, so <laughs> I didn't realize how big this one was. No, you know what? This is a period panty. The one you wear while you're on your period, so you could be like all comfy and nice. Then I got this one cheeky, flirty, fun one that nobody's gonna see, I promise. I got this one because it's like a bit of like a fluffy material. You guys. Uh... <laughs> I may have done something. <laughs> I can't believe I got this pair of underwear. Okay. I got the bedazzled ones. But I didn't only get one. I got two pairs. Why did I do this? I don't know. Look how tiny that is. I couldn't tell you which side's the front. Because they're both the same size. If you're wearing some yoga pants, you're like, man, I really don't want these to show. And there'd be like this imprint of like Victoria's Secret on your butt and on your leg. And I don't know which side's the front. Uh, love that for me. I'll have some fun figuring that out. This is the pile of underwear that I now own. Oh my lordy. Who let me do this? Hallelujah, it's raining underwear. Wow, that was a really funny joke. Let's count them. One, my period panties. Two, three, 13, 14, 19, 20, 23, 24, 25. Oh wait, when I was looking on the floor, I forgot a pair of underwear that was still in the box. Okay, make that 26 pairs of underwear. If that's not the definition of unnecessary, I don't know what is. Right, Walmart was $24. Then Target plus 36 equals 60. That's $60 I spent at just two stores. When I went to pink, my total up to $136. So at pink, my purchase was $76 total. Then I went to Victoria's Secret and the purchase was $140. So, that brings my total to $276. Well, if a Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich is $5.99, so let's divide 276 by $5.99. That's 46 chicken sandwiches from Chick-fil-A. Wow, that's a lot. I know you're not gonna get a try on haul because that would be an unpleasant sight for everybody. Because next week, I'm doing the same, but with bras, and bras are like $46 a pop. I will enjoy basking in my mountain of underwear now that I have none left. So uh, follow me on Instagram, follow my TikTok. But you know what? I'll see you guys later. Mama, yes. you want to know how many pairs of underwear I bought today? 26. 26. 
likes. Wait, wait, how much money did I spend, Mark Adam? $276 of content. 